On this week's show, we join Jeff Johnston as he heads north to Canada and visits Pleasure Way RV, one of the leading Class B manufacturers. Then we head down to Tucson, Arizona and join Evan Schmarter as she visits with an old RVing friend and grills up a delicious, healthy meal. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Class B motorhomes are gaining popularity for their style, function, and fun. Pleasure Way Industries is a leader in the Class B market, and we recently paid the company a visit to learn more about it. Company CEO Dean Rumpel filled us in on the operation. Uh, Pleasure Way Industries is a family-owned and operated company that primarily specializes in building Class B motorhomes and B-plus motorhomes. Pleasure Way Industries was founded in 1986 by my father, Merv Rumpel. Uh, it started off with my dad having a RV dealership in Saskatoon, which we still have for over 40 years. In 1986, he wanted to take on a Class B product line, but the lead time to get any product was stretching out to six months when we went to purchase some. So in that time frame, my dad thought, hey, I can build one in six months. So that's how Pleasure Way started. It started off in a very small 5,000 square foot building, starting building by one, and we built, I think, 12 in the first year. But because of his connections within the RV industry, being a long-standing RV dealer already, there was a lot of friends in the business that took our product line on, which has now grown us to becoming one of the largest Class B manufacturers in the industry. Currently today, our product line is much varied than it used to be when we first started. Today we're building on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, we're building on the Chevy Express van, and we also built a brand new product on the Ford Cutaway, which is now a B+. So we're starting to expand our product line, but we're still principally a B manufacturer and a small motorhome manufacturer, which is really our strong suit and our niche. A lot of people choose a Class B because it's very flexible. They can use it as a second car, they can take it on long extended trips, and they're getting all the same features they would in a larger RV, just in a smaller size. So most of our Class Bs are between 20 and 22 feet. So they can still park in a metered stall, they can get onto ferries, they can go into places in a lot of national parks now that bigger coaches can't go. A lot of our consumers are already in the RVing lifestyle. So they're now in, into downsizing. They don't want to give up the freedom of what they love in RVing, but they don't need to do it in a 40-foot coach anymore. Part of what makes Pleasure Way unique is that we are still one of the very few family-owned and operated RV manufacturers left today. I'm thinking there might only be two or three still left. So that makes us unique is that we're very hands-on and day-to-day -day we're running our own company here which I think makes us unique today. Also, what we've just come out with is a brand new five-year coach warranty. So that was an industry first. We'll back up our coaches for five years or 60,000 miles, and we're prepared for that. We believe in the quality of what we do, and the people, really, that build what we make is the secret to our success. Uh, without a great staff, believing in what they do and taking pride in how they, what they build, uh, we wouldn't have the product we have, and we surely wouldn't have the confidence to back it like we are. To illustrate the company's commitment to quality, Dean showed us around on an enlightening tour of the Pleasure Way facility. So one of our first stops in the production process is our fiberglass department. Here we build all our own molds, and we make all our own fiberglass parts. Here we're going to get ready to make our own running board parts. We have some storage compartments. Right now they're laying in hardener before they spray the uh, fiberglass resin and the fiberglass over top of it and then they hand roll it. You need to apply the hardener so that you can remove the part from it, from the mold when it's complete and dry. We make all our own molds in-house and we do all of our own fiberglass in-house which makes it very unique to our industry. Okay. 
So after what we call chop has been sprayed, which is a combination of resin and the fiberglass, we give it a top coat of resin. By rolling all the parts by hand, you ensure you have no air pockets in your fiberglass part. This is our fiberglass finishing department. What we do here, this is where we cut, grind, and hand fit all of our fiberglass components, such as running boards or uh, corner trims. They all get measured, ground, and fit, so they fit precisely with each unit they're going on. We're about to enter our uh, welding shop where we fabricate all our metal. You can see we have a large inventory of steel that we use every day. What's really unique about us is we still weld everything together, which we think adds to a stronger finished product. In this part of the welding shop, we have our jigs, so we precisely make all of our floor frames and our wall frames, which are all welded out of steel. What makes part of our body construction on our Pursuit B Plus line really unique is that we bond all the fiberglass to the steel using a product called Cicaflex. Cicaflex is something we've been using for over a decade already. As you can see, once we lay the sheet down, it's prepped and primed, and then the steel sidewall gets bonded right to it. Once this product is cured, it's pulled up and it's set to the side and it gets ready to go onto the coach where it's all welded together. Is we do not use any screws to hold any of our fiberglass to our body. It's all bonded, so you eliminate thousands of potential places where you could have a leak. We're in our paint shop right now, and this piece just came out of the boot. So this is our one-piece fiberglass roof that has been painted with automotive paint. You can see it's completely seamless, so there's gonna be no chance of leaks, and the automotive paint is gonna stand up for years, lasting far longer than just a simple gel coat alone. So right now, we're just finishing by putting in more bonding agent, Cicaflex here, where we're gluing the fiberglass onto the steel. We also add a series of wood trusses that add additional strength, and it gives us some place to anchor in our headliners to. So part of the frame assembly when we're building our floor frames is to uh, install our storage compartments. Commonly you'll find them made out of tin or out of plastic, but we use 10 gauge steel. If we're gonna back a product like our 2014 coaches with a five year coach warranty, we wanna make sure what we're building is built to last. We'll continue our visit to Pleasure Way right after a word from our sponsors. Don't touch that dial. Simply put, Thetford's AquaChem has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaChem, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaChem, another great product from Thetford never run out of propane again. With level check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Pleasure Way CEO Dean Rumpel is taking us on a tour of his company's factory for an inside look at how his motorhomes are built. In this stage of the production, we are in our subfloor installation and also where we attach all our roofs and our corner panels and rear caps like this. So here's where we're going to uh, bond our front caps, our rear caps onto the coach. We're also going to insulate the coach as well, and we're going to put in all our blocking and our subfloor in that we can attach all our components inside to. What we've done here is we have inserted in all of our plywood into our wall blocking. So we have key points to attach our cabinetry, and we've also put down our plywood subfloor. And we go the extra step here where we actually fill all the screw holes and the seams of the plywood and sand it so that when we glue down our linoleum into the coach, it's going to be perfect, it won't wrinkle, it's not going to curl up and peel down the road. We manufacture all of our own solid maple cabinet doors. As you can see, as an example, this door here, we take the raw wood, we rip it to our right size, 
and we put it together using a mortise and tendon joints. So we do not staple our doors together. At the end, they're all glued together, and once it's dried, it'll go through our final sanding phase before it goes to the finishing Here's department. Here's going to take the raw boards. Here, our CNC router works eight hours a day. It cuts a lot of the individual parts, including our aluminum back flooring that we put down in the pursuit, as well as small individual parts that take intricate time and pieces to cut. Here we hand lay on edge tape to finish off uh, raw edges of plywood. Here's a perfect example of the quality in one of our coaches. This is a, a one piece face frame in the kitchen. So as you can see, it's a solid piece of plywood. We have no joints holding any of the areas together, which means it won't squeak going down the road. It makes it very solid. We use an extensive amount of Corian in all of our coaches, from vanity tops to kitchen countertops, backsplashes, and it's all done right here. The amount of time it takes to go in and polish and sand Corian is tremendous. On average, it's nine or 10 hours per coach alone. In our in-house upholstery department, we assemble all of our own sofa frames. You can see here we've got four inches of memory foam with an ultra leather cover that's gonna go over top. Ultra leather is very durable and will last a long time. So this is the beginning of what we call stall production versus assembly line production. So each coach will go into a stall and the people will come and rotate through the coach. So our cabinet fitter will work for about four and a half days installing the cabinets. Then we're going to have our plumbers and our gas fitters and electricians all work through the coach. What's unique to this coach is we use what's called multiplex wiring. So a lot of the power is put through a Cat5 type cable to separate distribution panels. In the end, we eliminate about 40% of our wiring harness in the coach, which makes it lighter. And we can also troubleshoot things much quicker. We encase all our wires in loom, and then we strap all of the loom. In our steel step wells on our boxes, anywhere there's a seam, we seal all the seams. So you're never gonna have moisture issues and you're never gonna have rust issues down the road. After the uh, product has come down and it's into the finishing phase, we'll perform all of our tests. So we'll test the LP system, we'll water check it all, and we'll also use a, a seal tech machine, which will pressurize a complete coach and then soap it down to see if we have any potential places for leaks. We complete two finished units a day, so twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon, our cycle changes and new units come into production and the finished units go out. This is what's going to happen next. The final step is quality control and it's one of the most important in the entire manufacturing process. Here is where our team double checks everybody else's work to make sure it's done right and done right the first time. Last but not least, it's shipping. So when a coach leaves the factory here, it's shipped to its dealer, it's always done on a flat deck truck. So our coaches get to the local dealer, it's only usually got about 90 miles on it. The factory tour is impressive, but taking a look at the finished product is even more so. The Pleasure Way Pursuit Motorhome is a fine example of the Class B Plus builder's art. Light tone woodwork accents the Corian countertops we saw being built earlier. The kitchen includes a small sink and two burner stove plus a microwave and dual door refrigerator close to the comfortable U-shaped dinette. The compact bathroom features a functional curved shower enclosure. Storage cabinets are everywhere in the coach. Power window blinds and shades are a nice touch in the bedroom. Rich looking dark colored cabinetry complements the light tone upholstery in the company's sprinter based Plateau Class B motorhome. Many controls are grouped in one spot. Wardrobe and pantry storage space are built in. The dinette converts to a large bed at night and is close to the shirt closet. The wet bath is small but it does the job. For more information about Pleasure Way Class B Motorhomes, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Coming up next, we'll join Ivan in sunny I'm Tucson. We'll be right okay. back. Well, yum. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this to looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. The 
learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. Be sure and visit the new RollingOnTV.com where you'll find weekly shows along with a selection of videos, stories, information, and the latest RV news. Our lifestyle pages are full of great stories about places to go, things to do, and what's new. Written by our viewers and RV writers from around the country. And if you're into great food and drinks, then visit our food and beverage pages where we'll get your taste buds up and ready for an Epicurean adventure. All this and more on the new RollingOnTV.com. One of the best things about RVing, whether you're a full-timer or a weekend warrior, is making new friends, sharing interests, and enjoying meals together. A few years ago, we were fortunate enough to meet our Central California Coast site neighbors, Luke and Kathy. They're fun, kind, interesting, and Luke is a great cook. Fast forward a few winters later, and it turns out we're snowbirding in the same town, Tucson, Arizona though at different parks. No matter, it's really easy to get around. Luke and Kathy invited us over, and lucky for us, Luke is gonna show us his latest grill favorite, spinach and mozzarella stuffed portobello mushrooms. They're incredibly simple and truly scrumptious. So let's do this thing. Hi, Luke. Hi there. How are ya? I'm doing terrific. Good well, to see you here. We meet again. We do. So this is your gorgeous motorhome. It is. Tell me the story about how you started RVing. Well, I used to be a tent camper, and then when I married late in life at 35, my wife was a motorhomer. Aha. Uh -huh. And she didn't want to go tent camping because there was no bathroom along. Do you imagine that? And so we ended up buying a very small motorhome that was older. For, it was a learner for me to learn to fix all the different systems and things that are on it. And then we moved up to a bigger one, and then we moved up to a bigger one, and this is one we've had uh, since 2007. And you guys have a pretty interesting arrangement, don't you? So, we do. Do tell. So, <laughs> I was not comfortable driving something this large. The Mama Luke. Though I can drive it now. But we worked out agreement that I would be the mechanic and the navigator and the sommelier and the chef if she did the driving. Well, what are we going to make today? You've got this laid out, and when we talked about doing the show, you said there's something that I love to make. It's our current favorite, and it is simple. We fired off the Traeger, and so we're just going to do some mozzarella and spinach stuffed mushrooms. Okay, well, yum. Yum. All right, so well, how do we do this? Okay, first I like to put a little olive oil on the mushrooms. Oh, you're going to use a spoon. To kind of drizzle it. And that way you can get a little more easily to where it should be. It's, okay. it's easy to pour too much olive oil on things. No fuss, no muss, just around. Yeah, just around. Through the gills, okay. Yep. And then from there we're going to put some spinach on them. Now this is spinach, this is baby spinach that's pre-washed and cut in a bag. Absolutely. So all you've done is you've got the portobello, a little bit of olive oil, that fresh spinach, and then you're going to just top it off with some gorgeous shredded mozzarella. Well, this is yep. beautiful. All we're going to do is set them in here. Okay. And beautiful. Close it up. We're at about 325 degrees. Okay. And I'll probably leave them in there about 10 to 15 minutes just so the cheese melts nicely and the mushrooms get heated all the way through. Will they get soft, the mushrooms? They, they get soft. Depends. You can leave them kind of as long as you want, mm -hmm. but the cheese at some point will start dripping down the side, so that's ah. time to take them off. Right. Portobello mushrooms look like they've gotten a little We'll get back soft. to Ivan and Luke yeah. and so check out that fun. Traeger grill right after mm. this short mm. break. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollerOnTV.com. 
At Norcol, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcol refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcol RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcol.com. So, this is a Traeger. This is a Traeger. Tell me what a Traeger is. A Traeger is a pellet barbecue. It uses pellets. They have oh, wow. up to eight different kinds of wood. Uh, these happen to be hickory pellets because I like the smoke flavor that hickory gives. Wow, but okay. you can get them in, in apple or alder or oak, mesquite, any number mm -hmm. of things. It's a good uh, RV barbecue because it's small and I keep it underneath and take it out. It runs on electricity. One of the things I particularly like about it being an RVer is it's electric. You just turn it on or you turn it off. So are you guys full-timers or vacationers? What, what are you? At this point, we're about six months out of the year. Typically, we spend the winters in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, we come down here January the 1st and stay through about the end of March. And then we're back out to California coast where we live. And then in the summertime, we usually head up to the Pacific Northwest, uh, Anacortes, up on the Puget Sounds, one of our favorite places. Tell me, what do you look for when you choose a park? When we choose a park, uh, very important to us now is Wi-Fi, because we all do business on the road, and a lot of entertainment now is coming through Wi-Fi. Uh, we're also looking for a park that has very good recommendations online. Uh, mm. There are several sites online that give reviews of parks. Is this going to be your last rig? You're loving this so much, or have you got another rig in mind? Uh, as we get older, we're, we're talking about maybe moving down to a smaller rig Oh. at some point, but that's probably five, ten years in the future. Okay, We've so... We've very happy with this one. As you know, it takes a year or two or three to get your rig set up the way you like it. That's right. And where you can find everything you've put into it. So this, this has been a good rig, and it's just set up the way I like it. We've got solar panels on it. Oh, really? Uh, I have an RO water system installed in it. Just reverse osmosis? Reverse osmosis system, because a lot of the places you've got in the desert, they have very bad well water. Mm -hmm. So... That way you have good drinking water all the time. So it's been about 15 minutes. I think that our mushrooms are just about done. Should be just about done. But before we take them off, I can't help but notice all these gorgeous fruit trees behind us. Well, this is one of the reasons that we like staying at this park is because out in the desert, it's brown. Right. And here it's green. And one of the nice things in the greenery they've planted is they've planted alternate lemon trees, orange trees, and grapefruit trees. And you're free to pick the fruit anytime it's ripe. And this time of year, when we're here, it's all ripe and it's wonderful. Ooh. Well, cheese is melted down and kind of looking toasty on top, so I would say we're just about ready to go. Perfect. Shall I? Yes. Oh, and you know what? The portobello mushrooms look like they've gotten a little bit soft. Yep. So that's beautiful. Spinach is cooked down a bit. Spinach is cooked down. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Perfect. All we're right. Ready to go. Okay. And the, the thing I love about the Traeger is when I'm through, I just reach over and turn it off. Wow. Mmm. 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 Good. Perfect. Mmm. And you can do anything. Like you said, you could put some sausage in this if you wanted to, yep. some chicken. You could mm -hmm. put some red peppers in it. Yep. If you wanted to do that, you could saute some stuff inside and then plop it right put on it the into, top. Put it into, do some Whatever. shallots and red bell pepper would be nice in there. Mmm. Yum. Mo mozzarella over it. Wow. So, or even different cheeses. Yep, different cheeses. How Some cool Gruyere would be wonderful on this. Love that. <laughs> well, Luke, thank you so much for showing us this dish. It is easy and, like we said, it's scrumptious. And it's healthy for you, too. It's good and it's good for you. Try this next time you go RVing. It is a no-miss dish. So thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yvonne for Rolling on TV. We'll see you next time. Cheers. 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 We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And for additional information on anything you saw on the show, visit us online at rollingontv.com. And don't forget to enter our RVs in Paradise contest. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com.
Looking to buy an RV? For one of the largest selections of new and used RVs online, visit our partners at RVT.com.